Good morning, Philippines. You are watching the Business Portal, your gateway to business trends and opportunities. Welcome to the Investment Academy. Investment Academy shows different ways to help Filipinos increase their investment capacity, financial literacy, and awareness. Investment Academy will not only show you how to make money, but also how to create wealth. Now, for our Just Ask Grow portion, um, we, we had texters from last week that we couldn't answer, so now we are um, posting it, uh, we, are show, we are reading it to you. This is from Raymond of Las Piñas. I'm learning about investments and stocks. Could you help me? Thanks. Okay, um, for investments and stocks, um, remember our host last week? Um, they have a weekly seminar at the Makati Stock Exchange, um, usually 1 to 4 or 8 to 12. So if you can just call our marketing special, our, our stock um, professor last week, his name is Jay Peñaflor at 0932 6068740. That's Jay Pena Floor at 0932-606-8740. And um, another um, question that um, came in ah. last week is from 0917-379-6562. Pwede ba ipasok sa mutual fund yung less than 10,000? Definitely. Yung 10,000 mo, um, actually even as low as 5,000, you can put your money in a mutual fund. So 10,000 is definitely ano meron lang mga meron lang mga kumpanya na nag naghihingi ng mas mataas like 100,000 pero meron din mga kumpanya na as low as 5,000 you can. Okay, um, now for today our topic will be get rich with multi-level marketing. Now for our guest uh, today, I am very fortunate to have my very very good friend from 20, 20. 20, 25 years ago, uh, Mr. Robert Valhagen. He is a network marketing coach and he is now one of the top in the business and he has been in a better run for and he's been doing this for decades now. So um, let's welcome. Hi, Robert. Hi, Ro. How are you? I'm good. Exciting. Thank nice you. Nice to for, be here. I thank you for coming. I yeah. mean, um, from back way, what, college now? College, yeah. yeah. We and now here we are talking about making money. And yes. before it used to just be drinking, drinking. <laughs> Shit about her. Okay, yeah. no, that, that's, that's you. <laughs> anyway, Robert, can you give us a little background about um, like yourself, how you started this business, aside sure. from the fact that you are a commercial model? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I, you should have gotten... Um, the product I was endorsing to put a commercial for today. <laughs> my, my background actually, when I met Ro, I was in college, I was studying in UP, I, I took up film. I yes. was a major in film and uh, from there I was working part-time in ABS-CBN as a writer for Going Bananas, if you guys remember that show. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's and, the uh, 80s show. Yeah, when I, when I, I was a writer then and when I graduated, I entered the marketing department uh, in ABS-CBN and I grew my career there. Um, I was handling the radio uh, programs, uh, bringing in commercials for them, and then I worked my way up to daytime TV. Then when I understood how it worked, I left and I put up my own marketing company, and I handled the shows of Ateludes in Daibadidai and mm -hmm. Cheche Lazaro. Mm -hmm. So that was uh, Isang Tanong, Isang Sagot, Game Plan. It was a lot of fun, but uh, ABS-CBN missed me. Mm -hmm. They pirated me back to uh, handle the uh, children's television programs yeah, of I the ABS CBN Foundation. That. Yeah. So that. at age 27, I was uh, already a marketing director, doing very, very well in the corporate world. I was very established. The only person I was answering to was Gina Lopez, who was a fantastic boss. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's my background marketing, sales mm -hmm. uh, in the television industry. Mm -hmm. I was the guy in charge of bringing in the millions mm -hmm. for the TV shows. They'd call me the money guy. Mm -hmm. uh, they would give me a nickname before Don Robert. <laughs> Don Robert. Th that was fun. So how long were you in the in the with ABS-CBN then? ABS. Well, off and on, it was over ten years. Ten over years. Ten, ten years. years. And then from there, you joined uh, multi-level marketing. Yeah, business. a friend of mine who was also very successful in um, media mm -mm. introduced me to the uh, the company I'm working with now. I've been mm -hmm. with the same company now for over ten years, and. He showed me this concept, which was new to me, which was network marketing, and it looked really interesting. There were a lot of promises, like most people say, it sounds too good to be true. But when I did my research, I, I at that time, walapang internet, yeah. So I had to read books. I had to uh, interview a lot of people, 
And uh, within a few months, I actually flew to the company in the US. I wanted to check out the facilities. And I met a lot of people, and I found out it was all real. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you guys are lucky now because of the internet. You guys can just Google things, and mm -hmm. you can do research. Uh, if you're interested to start up a company, you can check out the background, look at what's good, what's bad, mm -mm. look at the complaints. So I, I decided to do it part time. I and uh, I was still working full time with ABS-CBN, the foundation, and I just put aside two hours a day. Mm, and word. within one year, I was able to grow my business to, to uh, quite a substantial amount. I was making more part time than I was full time. And then that's when I decided to retire from the corporate world. And I haven't been to work now in 12 years. Do you miss the corporate world? Yeah, I do. I do. Corporate world's fun. I, I enjoyed it. It's nice. I, I miss the industry. Mm -hmm. Even being here in a studio, I feel homesick. You know, I, I miss <laughs> the studio. I miss the lights. Mm -hmm. I miss the industry. Uh, but, you know, you miss it only for a short time. <laughs> yeah. And then you realize all those things that you don't miss, uh, which was basically waking up every day, mm -hmm. working the whole day, and pretty much it's just nonstop. Every day you got to work. Whereas now, with network marketing, I've, I've built a business mm -hmm. which has grown to 22 countries. That's huge amounts of business, and I just don't go to work anymore. It's, it's better. Okay, so, it's, so this is why you chose MLM, multi-level marketing, yeah, over, I mean, over corporate. Because, what, you have your own time? Well, the end goal, the end goal. In, in corporate, I was making quite a good income as marketing director. And uh, even when I had my own marketing arm, I was doing very well. But, you know, the, the, I think the goal of almost, look at that, of everyone in this, <laughs> I haven't worn a suit in a while. Normally, I'm just jeans, t-shirt. The goal of everyone uh, watching this show, I, I assume, is to be rich, yeah? Yeah, well, this, our, our program is called Investment Academy, so yeah. we will teach them how to increase their investments, um, no, let them know what's going on, what ways to make money. Everyone wants to make the money, course, they want to be course. rich. So, I didn't just want to make money, I wanted to be rich. And I realized that working for someone will never make you rich. I mean, there, there are the exceptions. No, I, I know people who are CEOs of companies and they get paid two million a month, uh, I know people who with, with salaries of 700, 800,000 a month. That's really great. But the thing is, if someone is paying you 2 million they, a month, they expect you to work. They expect heaven and earth they, from they you. Get, they, they want your, their money's worth. You know, yeah. your, your, your leash, your cell phone's a leash, and I didn't want that. I had this idea, the reason why I put up my own business when I was still in corporate, I wanted to put up something which eventually would just give me income every month so that mm -hmm. I didn't have to go to work every day anymore. Mm -hmm. The reason why we work so hard is because we want to eventually not have to work hard, right? Mm -hmm. Get promoted, get the big incomes, invest so that you have the passive income so that you don't have to work anymore. Yeah, well actually that's ev every, everyone's goal. That's what I always tell my viewers, my clients, that our, our right now we are um, we are earning, we are in our earning capacity years. How is that when you don't earn anymore, right? Um, so that's why you have to have passive income. That's scary. You know, a lot of people don't plan for that, really. That's, that's, that's actually why I'm here for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's why I actually teach them that. So um, that's, that's, that's really good. So we can tell them more about it. In fact, we have... Um, we up for questions. Uh, you may call us at zero nine one seven eight six two seven five seven six. Sorry, you can text us at zero nine one seven eight six two seven five seven six. You can send a message. Please indicate your name and location, and we can answer you today. Also, today, yeah, yeah. And so, right, going back, no. Um, Multi-level, you think, is like a real business, like having like your own office, and you can yeah. consider it really a real business compared to like a, you know, like a, f a business that will just be here now, after a month or two, walana. So, is it like a real business that they can really bank on? Well, definitely, it's actually more stable than if you put up um, a, a, a water station or, or, or a fishbowl stand or even a small franchise, mm. because first of all, the money that you put out is quite minimal. Um, you know, for some people, it's like 1,000. It can go from 1,000 pesos to 100,000 pesos, but still, uh, that, that's nothing compared to if you were to start a real business. But le let me explain network marketing a little bit uh, because I came from both sides. In traditional business, um, once you have a product, let's say you make a product, 
there's a lot of money spent getting that product to you or getting someone to buy that okay, product. Okay, let's just ex um, make an example. Like my business before, like clothing. Clothing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. You spent a lot of money there. Yes, yes, I she did. She invested quite a bit. I mean, she put in a lot of money. And can we say the brand? Sure. Retrato. I yeah. used to wear that all the time. Retrato. And he used to be, you used to be my model, too. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. I do it for free clothes. <laughs> yeah. The, um, w once you have a brand, uh, for someone to buy it, they have to be aware. So to make someone aware of the brand, you have to pay an advertising company, right? You have mm -hmm. to buy the airtime. And that, that's really expensive. I mean, that's how ABS-CBN and all these TV stations make a fortune through advertising. The uh, people making the products pay for that. Uh, once you're, you pay the advertising companies to produce the commercial, people have, you have to pay the uh, TV stations, the radio stations, the newspapers to air it. They're making a lot of money. But once people are aware, how do you buy it? The next step is to get the product to you, they have to pay a distributor. Mm -hmm. Normally, a distributor, they charge about 15%, no? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. And then there's the regional, there's the local distribution companies. And who do they distribute it to? They distribute it to a retailer. And normally the markup of the retailer is what? 15, 20%, sometimes no, 40? More, more. Sometimes 40. Uh, so it actually depends on the product that you're selling. Um, there are different products that you can mark up, like as small as 20%. And there's also product that you can, um, when the turnaround, is longer than you can mark up higher 50 or even 70. Right, so at least 20%. Now, when you add all that up, let's say if a product costs 10 pesos, 8 pesos goes to awareness and distribution, right? Mm -hmm. So 2 pesos for the actual cost of the product, 8 pesos for marketing and distribution. With network marketing companies, what they do is they allocate about 50% of mm -hmm. the, uh, the product price mm -hmm. to distribution. Now, what they do is they pay us, the distributors. The only title we have in network marketing is distributor. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we get the product from the company and make sure it ends up in the hands of a customer. So we are the advertising. We are the, distri uh, the distributor. We are the uh, awareness campaign. That's our job. As a network marketer, our job is to educate people on both the business and the product. Mm -mm. And in doing so, instead of the money going to the retail outlets, the distributors, mm -hmm. the advertising companies, and the television station, it goes to us. Nice. And it's, it creates sales for the, the, the manufacturer. So uh, well the also with network marketing, like, um, like you, and then you have people under you, and that's how it goes, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, and then from what they sell, you make a percentage Yes. Is it that way? That's the way. And then yes. the one below you, same thing, same thing yeah. goes on. Yeah, you, you basically have a break off where mm -hmm. in the most that you pay per peso is about maybe anywhere from 40 centavos to 50 centavos. Mm -hmm. And that's the allocation to the distributors. And mm -hmm. then depending on which network marketing company, that's how they, bahala sila how they break it down. What are, the, what are the industries or what are the usual products for network marketing? I mean, of course, there's the the beauty <laughs> you know, everything lately uh, every every company is finding a way to enter the network marketing realm because mm -hmm. it's really a booming industry i've seen from clothes to rice to food telecom rice like rice, because? rice because basics oh. but of course the markups very small no, but still it's a basic uh commodity the markups are small but you know everyone's buying it so um we've seen uh, health wellness beauty um telecom even telecom um household appliances, fertilizers, anything basically uh, that you can think of, there are network marketing companies mm -hmm. distributing. Like uh, for a person to start up the network marketing business, how much capital and time should they invest? I mean, of course, like you, you yeah. started out in corporate, so um, if they're getting into business, of course, there's not a uh, pay check on the 15th and the 30th, no, right? No. So that's why how much um, should they invest and how much how much time and money should they invest to start a network business? Okay, bottom line is get started. You don't need a cent. Mm -hmm. You don't need more than five minutes a day. Mm -hmm. Seriously, but depending on how much time you put in, that's how much money you're going to make. But just get started. Just sign in the distributor form. Just get mm -hmm. started. Most people are afraid because they're like, I don't want to start because I'm not sure if I can commit. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no commitment. It's if in, in terms of... Uh, if you don't put in an hour a day, you're going to mm -hmm. be fired. No one's going to fire you. It's your mm -hmm. business. I see. Whereas if you invest in um, like a small kiosk, yeah. 
that, that's your money on the line. That's yeah. like three, four hundred thousand. Yeah. So you really do or die. You got to put in the time, and you have quotas. And man, you got to learn so many things, like working with the government, the taxes, and sueldo. And mm -hmm. there, there's a lot to learn. Mm -hmm. With network marketing, you just need to understand your product, what it does. Mm -hmm. And how do you understand it? By using it, trying it, and see what it does for you. Mm -hmm. And the other thing you got to do is just make cuento. That's my number one word for network marketing. Start, make cuento. Cuento, cuento mo lang. What did the product do for mm -hmm. you? How did it affect you? And t make people cuento. Uy, my friends are making a lot of money. And then just make cuento how. So network marketing is just cuento. Okay, so that's good. I mean, not much money that you need to start with. No. Even zero. I, I remember um, someone approached me before and said, but you have to buy this amount of product. Um, I think it's like, but some, even in the States, when I was in the States, sure. someone, uh, I, have, I had to buy like a thousand dollars worth of products. Is it like that with the net? That was like 20 or 15 years ago. Is it the same now? I think most network marketing companies have systems and people promote certain growth systems, which is where you buy packages. But if you read the, the paperwork and the contract, the only requirement really is to sign maybe a distributor agreement worth a thousand pesos. But even that you don't have to do. Because if you don't have money even to sign the distributor form, go to the company, they give trainings for free. Mm -mm. Learn the products mm -mm. without you don't have to do buy and sell. Mm -mm. You can do sell and buy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Make quenta the product to people, get orders, mm -hmm. get their money, go and buy the products, and you've started using other people's money. Okay. OPM. So the only thing you need is uh, initiative. Initiative. A decision to start. Okay, let me leave you with that okay. before we take a break. So with network mar marketing, you have to understand the product, use it, and tell, make, uh, tell the story, make quento. Okay, we have one, a question from Nico of Makati. What are the best examples of passive income? Okay, passive income, like what we are talking right now, talking about right now, will be p passive income, um, network joining a network marketing, um, also a like real estate is a good way of passive income. Another, um, there's a, there's actually a lot of um, passive income that you can use. I mean, with books, if you like, you write books, you get f you get royalties from that. That's passive income. Um, let's say you also have let's say a place that you want to rent out. Let's say for exhibits or um, exhibits or like a place to promote something you can also rent that that would be passive income I can um, actually um, tell you all about uh, the different ways you make passive income by next week no um, another we have another texter um, number ending 6400 how can we contact you for more details about network marketing okay you um, we can call um, Robert We'll call him Rob. Robert, Robert at uh, 0918-881-1181. Okay, so we'll just have to take a break now, and we'll see you again in a few minutes. How fast, no? Pagang. Good morning again. I am your host, Rowena Cuico Suarez. You are watching Investment Academy. And our topic for today is um, how to make money in the multi-level marketing business. Okay, we left off with a, um, passive income. With a, with a question uh, earlier about how to earn passive income. Um, I, as I mentioned earlier, like rent and multi-level marketing, franchises, all these things can be passive income for you. But Robert has um, something to also yeah, tell something you. Something to add about that. Passive income is fantastic. That's what we all aspire for, which is why I still bet for Lotto. <laughs> yeah. If you win 450 million, you know, what are you going to do? You're going to put it in, in, in something which will give you passive income. If yeah. you just put it in time deposit, you'll be making about 2 million uh, no, more. A lot more, a lot yes, more, yes, a yes, month. Yes, yeah. But it takes money to buy a business, to buy real estate, to put it in stocks and bonds and mutual funds. But with network marketing, the goal is to have passive income by building a network. Now, a network is an asset which puts money into your pocket every month. And whereas um, to, to, to build a business, it takes money. With network marketing, you just need people. And that's uh, a resource that we all have. We all have friends. We all have contacts. You know, if you just look at Facebook, how many contacts you have, that's your asset. You know, people spend their whole lives building this incredibly valuable asset, which is your contacts. But we don't get paid on it. Mm -hmm. But by simply connecting them to a, a network marketing company, then you now get paid on your asset, which creates passive income. And my passive income through nine, my network marketing company has allowed me to not go to work for the last 12 years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
there. What, having See, a business. Yeah, it, it's a real business. Uh, it's creating real sales for the company I work with. And for that, I get my percentage. Mm -hmm. The nice thing is that it keeps on growing. Mm -hmm. Growing, 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 growing because of the trends right and, now. And the money just comes to your account? It's deposited into yeah. my bank account yeah. every okay. month. Okay, we have uh, another texter, um, Ro Ronald Sumoy from Northern Mindanao. Good morning. I'm very new to my position. I don't have idea on marketing, but now I'm holding a position which I need to indulge in marketing. Can you give me reading materials on marketing and management? There are a lot of um, reading materials that you can go to. Of course, of course, go to national bookstore, go to a bookstore. They have um, marketing um, the idiot books, the marketing for idiots, uh, marketing 101, guerrilla marketing. Um, but there's also a book on basics of marketing and management. I think that's what you should you should um, you should read first, and from there you can just learn. And you also can also Google the internet and you know and uh, look on uh, like how marketing basics, marketing and management basics. Now for our um, what's to read portion. I uh, I'd like to share with you this book that uh, I read this so many years ago. It's called Who Moved My Cheese by Dr. Spencer Johnson. It's an amazing way to deal with change in your work and in your life. Actually, let me just share with you. Uh, Robert mentioned before that I was in the retail business for about 20, 16 years and there was a time that I had to to check um, what do I want to do this and and so a friend of mine gave me this book it um, it's a very easy read like an hour you're finished and it actually changed my life because right now I'm in the financial I, I'm in the financial services business and it's been, been doing really good for me so look, check out this book it's um, available at the Nas at national bookstore that's a good book I read it too Really? Yeah. Okay. And another one for our um, uh, the news um, for the news today, the stock market. We have a, actually uh, like a slide for that. Um, for business new, for business news, inflation within the target for the next two years. Um, it, in 2010, it hit already 3.8 this year. So our target is 3.5 to 5.5 percent. Um, this year and now we are on 3.8 so we're actually doing good and for the next two years we're still on target and for 2011 to 2012 we will be hitting 3% and our target for that is 3 to 5% so another um, business news is Fitch affirms BPI ratings to BB plus um, that BB plus means um, there's a stable outlook for for the company because BPI posted um, 9.1 billion net income as of September, 24% com higher compared to 2009's uh, income. Another one is Security Bank net rises by 51%. Income surge to 3.3 billion as of September compared to 2.2 billion last year. As you can see, um, our 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 economy is really doing very good for those business news um please uh, read business world um it's all there for our um stock market um the finance watch uh, so this is as of november 15 because it was a holiday yesterday so wala pong nag post uh wala po kahapon trading and ang stock market natin opened last Monday at 4,078.38. That's the index. It went on a high at 4,141.44, low at 4,062.15, and it closed at 4,139.32. For the peso dollar rate, our, we opened it last uh, Monday at 43.780. It went up to 43.700. 43, and low at 44.00 and it closed at 43.7 so there you have it uh, that's the peso dollar exchange rate and uh, market watch okay um okay we have another texter um ping of quezon city how and where do we get this distributors form do you have the list on the web thanks and god bless 
Robert. Yeah, we do, but um, company policy, I can't really mention the company, but uh, do send me a text message That's on 0918-881-1181, and I will send you the details for the workshop I am doing this Saturday in Makati from 10 to 12 in the morning. Wherein it'll be a two-hour workshop. I'll teach you from start to finish everything you need, need to know to be very successful in networking. Okay, I'll actually text his number back to you later. And um, okay, another texter, um, Mick Chan of uh, Fort Global City. Can you tell some MLM are, are long? Long? I have no idea what that means. Um, can you text your message again? I, I don't quite understand the message. Anyway, Robert, um, let's um, go back. No, what are you said that you know it's a form of passive income and what else are the benefits of having being in a multi-level marketing business well i tell you the benefit right now is that an industry is booming mm -hmm. so if you want to be in an industry that's booming right now you want to go into network marketing um, as so many industries are dying so many industries are becoming obsolete um, in the u.s they were just saying that they're going to stop printing phone books you know, that used to be a really big industry. So the cheese moved, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. um, the cheese moved, definitely, plugging the book. Um, mm -hmm. And in, in the world, the job just doesn't cut it anymore. You know, uh, when was the last time you got a raise? Mm -hmm. You know, when, mm -hmm. when did your income increase? Yet, when did the price of gas increase? Yesterday again. So you're, you're, the value of your salary is shrinking. Yes, so yes. people are looking for an alternative. And the only alternative right now is... Network marketing, because if you learn another industry, it, it, the, the learning curve is quite, it, it takes okay. a, a lot to learn. So what but here it's just learn how to make Quanto, you're in. What type of people really join the business? Right now, I would say, whew, the range is quite big, but anyone who has the desire to create wealth in their lives. Um, I would say that uh, the, the upper management and, and people who were really well paid before are now jumping into our industry because they've lost their, their, their golden ticket. They've lost their big jobs, their big salaries. Are these retirees or one that, that's um, laid off? You know, it, it, from, from 21, because these kids don't want to do call center work, right? They don't want to do that. They're looking for alternatives. They're doing network marketing. For people in middle management, they realize, I've been working for 10 years. I'm not making the half a million a month I wanted. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm stuck at 60, 70,000. I need to do something else. Mm -hmm. And also to the people who are later on in life, they're like, oh my gosh, I'm 60. I'm going to be retiring in five years. Mm -hmm. And I've just been trading time for money my whole life. When I retire at 65, I have nothing. Yeah. What am yeah. I going to do? A lot. I don't have 10 lot. million to invest in a business. And if I do, I can't risk losing that 10 million. So what's my option? Mm -hmm. The option, me cuento. Mm -hmm. So type of people, something that you have to be, of course, interested, no? And you have to have that motivation to make money. That's the type of people that, we need. Yeah, motivation to make money would be the number one requirement. Because... You know, this is not a job. I, I, I find that in a job, you can be lousy, you'll still get paid. Mm -hmm. Here, if you're lousy, you're not getting paid. Mm -hmm. But if you're good, you make a fortune. And you don't even have to be that good. You just have to be competent and recruit people who are really good. So that goes back to my question early. So you really still have to invest time to be able to know the product. So when you sell it, you know. People know that, okay, this person knows what she's talking about. Oh, or definitely. Yeah. I mean, there are certain levels of and, competency. Uh, sorry. The, all the seminars are free. 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 Everything is free. Um, if you want to make 5,000 pesos a month, there's a certain level of competency. But if you want to make 5 million a month, you have to be uh, raise the bar a little bit. You know, mm -hmm. you have to be, I'll tell you the skills that you need, Ro. You need the skills of, uh, well, you just need to understand the product. That's one. And in networking, it's about people. Mm -mm. Are you good with people? Training, developing people, teaching. These are the skills. It's not so much selling. Selling is about 10%. 90% uh, is developing uh, people and handling an organization as it grows. We do spend a lot of time on team building, on uh, personal development. These are the skills necessary. If you want to make 5,000, 10,000, maybe the way you are, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But you know, let's say you're making a salary of 50, 60,000. There, there's a mindset when people are making 60,000 in corporate, they go to network marketing, mm -hmm. they get to that income level fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. But to grow from a person who's making 60,000 to 600,000. It's possible. Yeah, but you need to change. 
okay. you need to develop a certain skill set, which is, well, one is handling rejection. Mm -hmm. What I find is yep. uh, handling rejection is the thing that mm -hmm. keeps most people away from making a fortune is they're afraid of the word no. Mm -hmm. But when you understand how to deal with rejection, it's just part of success, mm -hmm. right? Then they get over that mental barrier. Then they just, the more no's you collect, yes. the more yeses you get. And mm -hmm. you, you change as a person to become the type of person who makes 600 or 6 mm -hmm. million pesos a month. I think, um, in, in, in the sales business, the rejection is like your um, tuition fee. <laughs> it's part like your tuition course. fee. It's part of the course. I mean, if you want to get better, it, rejection is part of it because you will not learn if you don't get rejected. Yeah. yeah. You learn I, I from the mistakes. I get rejected every day. It's just yeah. part of it. Until now, huh? after ah, 13 now, you know, you just ask a question, right? You just ask a question. Do you want to try the product or do you want to make money? You know, sometimes they say yes to either one. Mm. Sometimes they say no. More people say no than say yes, mm, right? Okay. But you just have to okay. ask the question more times than any other person uh -huh. to make more money than any other person. And I think also in this business, resiliency is key. You have to be very resilient. Yeah. No? That's a good Ma one. Meaning, um, pag ang cover band, pag hinila mo, kailangan magunong kang bumalik. You yeah. have to be like that, no? Well, you get to a point where you control your emotions, and it's you don't. People say, "Oh, I go through so many ups and mm. downs, the emotional ups and downs," but when you control your emotions, you don't go through the ups and downs. You're just steady. Yeah. Because some people get a no and they freak out, they're depressed the whole day. Mm -mm. But you know, you and I, we get a no and you just go next. Mm. A no yeah. is just, it's just a word. It, yeah. it doesn't make my emotions go and same thing with a yes yeah. when i get a yes i don't go crazy happy it's just a yes it's and part you just, of work yeah a no, a no is just like yes you know i don't go crazy happy or crazy sad i just do the work i need to do to get the the goal uh, I'm, t I'm trying to achieve i see okay we have another texter um, mick chan of the uh, uh, of fort global city can you tell me a network marketing that lasts for years like 10 years time thanks yeah, well, you want to look at the stable ones. I would say the most stable network marketing companies are the ones that uh, use a stair-step breakaway What's plan. What's a stair-step breakaway plan? Maybe uh, you can explain that. Yeah, yeah well, there, there are three types of network marketing plans. There's the uni level, wherein uh, you can recruit as wide as you want, and but the depth is limited, right? Uh, and everyone in your organization never breaks away. And then there's the binary plan where it's two by two by two. There are a lot of those. And then the most successful in the 50 year history of network marketing has been the stair step breakaway plan. Meaning there are stairs uh, of, you, you create an organization that stays under you and you can create certain levels of breakaway organizations. A way I can explain it is um, as an entrepreneur, you take care of a certain customer base. Mm -hmm. That's your business. When one of your customers becomes an entrepreneur and does the business, and he reaches like the entrepreneur level, his organization breaks away from you, mm -hmm. and you get paid on that person's business like a franchise. Okay, like let's say um, I go under you, right? Okay. Let's say, and then I go under you, and this is the stair step, stair yeah. step breakaway. Okay. Okay, you, me, you and me, you, I, I get a business from you, and then I make my own people. I, I have everyone people. signs up as a distributor. What you do with that is really up to you. Some people are just customers. If you're a customer, then you will be in my organization, my circle group, we call it. But if you develop your own organization of customers and entrepreneurs and you hit a certain level, you're put at the next level, which is why it's stair uh, the stair step, you're up the next level. You become your own entrepreneur. Your organization breaks away. Mm -hmm. And because I taught you and I coached you, there's a, you percentage which is paid to me every month on your entire organization. So the stair step breakaway plan, some people pay up to three levels, some people pay up to four, some people pay up to So six. what's the best plan? The uni level, the binary, or the stair step? Depends what you want. There's no hard and fast rule. Uh, the nice thing about uni level, it's money fast, but then to make really huge checks is difficult. Uh, the binary, it's also quick, you know, uh, but the most successful, the one that's created the most millionaires globally, is the stair step breakaway plan, and that's the one and I'm. The, and this doing. is also what they do in the states, because yeah, I understand your company is. Where did the company start? Oh, I can't talk about. Okay, it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're uh, you're not allowed. Huh? Not allowed. Not allowed. I'll just talk about overall concepts. No? Um, so how does um, how did this uh, industry change your life from before? Wow, a big deal. I haven't woken up to an alarm clock. In, well, today I did because I had to be here in the show. <laughs> uh, 
but I haven't used an alarm clock in a long time. My son is turning 11 uh, early next year. And because of this business, I have never missed a single moment in his life. Mm -hmm. I've been to every school event, I've been to every awarding, every piano recital, every everything. I haven't missed a thing. What it's given me, what I didn't have before, is time. Because of now I have the passive income. That's the value of passive income. Before, I was making great money, but I was working you know, from 9 in the morning till 11 o'clock at night because I wanted to be the best. Mm. And, you know, if you're getting paid on only what you do, you, and if you want to make a lot, you got to work really hard. So basically the difference now is I have time. I can take two weeks off, three weeks off. I mean, I do work a lot. I still do because I'm teaching a lot of people to achieve what I've achieved. Um, but if I want to, I can take a month off, two months off, a year off. So the diff how it changed your life really is the quality of life now. You have more time with the family. Yeah. You have... Um, control. Control. Okay, so that's it. Uh, another question. Uh, what is the best network marketing, marketing company here in the Philippines today? I'm interested to join. How to, the, how to know if it how do you is... How it's a scam? If it's um, a pyramid, a pyramid. Like, okay. Okay. Uh, actually, that was like one of my questions. Yeah, I love fantastic. Questions. How to know if it is a pyramid or a scam? Okay, uh, the best network marketing company in the Philippines is the one which you enjoy, mm -hmm. right? I mean, um, to what what to look for in a company to join is: Do you enjoy the products? Do you enjoy the people? Do you enjoy the company? Do you enjoy the management? Do you feel good when you're there? You know, some people say this is the best, that's the best, but you know, the question is what's the best for you? Because mm -hmm. you can have a beauty company, but you, you don't like beauty, you like um, supplements. Or mm -hmm. you can join a supplement company, but you want the beauty products, mm -hmm. right? Or you could want something else. If you're passionate about the product, that's the best company for you. Mm -hmm. um, the important thing is uh, stick with it. Mm -hmm. The people who jump from company to company, oh, this is better, that is better, that is better, they don't make it. You stick with one. If you like it, just stick with it. You'll make a lot of money. Okay. So how can you tell if it's a scam? How can you tell if it's a scam? Yes. Two things to look for. Number one, check. Is the company I'm looking at registered with the Direct Sellers Association of the Philippines? That is the self-regulating organization of the networking and direct selling industry. If the company is a member of the DSAP, it's a good company. What's a DSAP? Direct Sellers uh, association, association of the Philippines. Philippines. Okay. Self-regulating body. Next. Ask yourself one question. Once you understand the compensation plan, look at the compensation plan. Ask yourself one question. If all recruiting stopped today, would money still be made? If the answer is no, then income is based on recruiting and not product sales. It's a pyramid. Okay? Okay. That's the one. You only need that one question. If all recruiting stopped today, would mm -hmm. money still be made? The answer mm -hmm. is no. You're in a pyramid. I see. Okay, another question, JV from Marikina. I've been in a network marketing for three years now. I've seen company in the same business closing, affecting the people on the downlines. Ano po ang mga factors? Bakit nagba-bankrupt? Bad management. Okay. Bad management, basically. They didn't understand the comp plan. They're paying out too much money. Uh, never. I would say, gosh, don't join a new company. The failure rate is so high, and that's... Probably the, the common misnomer in network marketing is come in, we're a new company, join us, you'll be at the top, mm -mm. right? No, uh, one in 60,000 companies uh, hit a billion dollars a year. I would say go for a company that's established, that has a long track record, and you know, just Google it, check it out on the internet. Who has run well? Who has good financials? Whose products actually end up in the market and are not just part of a recruiting scheme? I know your company's but been there for about 50, 60 years? 20, the company I'm working with has been around 26, 26 years. 26 years. 26 okay. years. And people are saying, why join a 26-year-old company? Uh, because it's established. It's proven. Yeah, it's, proven. It's, it's, it's there. I, so many, many people come to me, oh, Rob, you're in network marketing. Mm -mm. Join us. This company's better. Mm -mm. And I say, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm loyal to where I am. And then two years later, they come back. Hey, Rob, you know that company I told you about? That, that was no good. This one, this one's better. And I said, no, no, I'm loyal to my company. Mm -hmm, no? mm -hmm. And two years later, they come up to me. and like, haven't you learned? I'm with the same company now for a decade. Why don't you stop goofing around mm -hmm. and join me? No, no, no. They're always looking for the next easy thing. It's, it's not an easy business. Okay, so um, well, of course you said you mentioned earlier that the company is booming, the, the the industry is booming. The industry is booming. And how has technology helped 
with this? Uh, I tell you, there's so much money to be made on Facebook. We're, we're a networking company, right? And with social media, I've just networked with people I haven't seen in <laughs> 20, 30 years, uh, classmates in grade school. And because of the internet, because of Skype, because of email, there's only four steps in the business. Invite people to see a presentation. If they're interested, sponsor them in the business and then train them and repeat that cycle. Invite, present, sponsor, train. Invite, sponsor, train. train. Invite, present, sponsor, train. And everybody uses the products, of, of course. No? That's mm -hmm. where the money comes in. Now, it used to be I had to meet people face to face. Now, um, I can just tell people, watch this video online. That's the presentation. So if they're interested, then I talk to them on Skype. And then I sign them up online. And then you have a new business partner in the US. Canada, Australia, if your company is international, then you can build international. So it's a good idea to partner with an international company mm -hmm. if you have contacts internationally. But it's not a requirement. If you have contacts in the Philippines, that's enough. Okay, um, we have to close soon. So Why? Do you have any messages for our viewers about uh, your business, network marketing? Uh, yeah, definitely network marketing is a real business. Ten years ago, you couldn't uh, validate these facts, but now there's the internet. So just do your research on the internet. Um, more and more companies are actually moving towards network marketing because they found it to be a viable way to do business. In books to recommend, I recommend Paul Zane Pilser. He wrote the book, uh, The Next Millionaires or Trillionaires, I forget. But he says 10 million new millionaires will be created in the network marketing industry in the next 10 years. 10 million new millionaires. Now, the only thing stopping you is fear. Fear. I, I don't have money. I don't have contacts. I don't have time. Forget about those excuses. You don't need money, right? Uh, contacts, make contacts. Look at your Facebook. How many contacts do you have there? If you have 10 friends, you can do the business. If you have one friend, you can do the business. And time. If you have no time, Lalapa, you should do the business. Everyone has 24 hours a day. Why do some people have more time than others, more free time? It's because they put their time or money in something which gives them passive income. So my, my message to you, make a decision to improve your life. Take the first step is just to decide to do the business and uh, call me <laughs> if you want to learn yeah, more. My cell phone's number. out there. Call sure. me and I'll coach you. I am a very, very good coach. That's my message. Just take, decide to take the first step. Don't let fear stop you. And your number? 0918-881-1181. Okay. All right. So, okay. So remember, um, uh, always um, calculate every mo every set money you spend. Always um, see if it's going to be good for you. If you really have to spend that, or just keep the money and save it and invest it. Also remember that um, always thank uh, the one up there for giving you all the resources you have for giving everything that you have and always just give thanks um, yeah. our ma our magic three um, with luck comes preparedness make your money work harder for you so that in the future you will be building wealth for your peace of mind okay we have another texter um, before we go um, thank you very much ping for your text huh? she's always actually texting so thanks your thanks your program just gave me hope after losing a job keep up the good work congrats and god bless um, with that i will leave you until next week uh, maraming salamat po and uh, i'll see you again next week <laughs>